is that time of the year again where I have to say uh, welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm happy that you're here to the subscribers. Happy that you're still here. You did, you did not change your mind. Uh, to the new ones, um, I'm going to tell you that please do subscribe so you do not miss out on any content that we will be uploading. And also the other thing is that uh, last year we focused mainly, we had a lot of uh, content that is based or uh, coming from the Overwombo uh, tradition uh, as a background. And uh, this year we want to take it a little bit different. We want to diversify so that we'll be able to be inclusive and include everybody. So our content this year, we will uh, make sure that we, uh, we, uh, we diversify uh, coming from different backgrounds, cultural backgrounds, different topics that are inclusive. You know, all sort of sort of things and the other thing is that um i i travel a lot in the country uh with my day-to-day -day work so where possible i think i will be taking you along and make sure that i create something for you to be able to see places where i go uh maybe that could be also the opportunity for you to see what exactly i do uh if there's any interest but yeah i think i will be taking you along to some of those, those trips and just before I continue, I would like you to look at the, one of the trips that I've gone to already last week. Yeah, official trip. And uh, it was in the Rongo region. Uh, stay tuned and enjoy. It will be very short. was contemplating on killing some of them because the population was too high, uh, most especially when we were competing with them uh, when it comes to the consumption of fish. Uh, the statistics indicate that these wild animals, they, consumed, they consume uh, more than what we allow uh, fishing vessels to fish in Namibian waters. So they, their consumption of fish is quite high. And that's why we had an, uh, uh, we had an incident, I think, a few years ago, whereby people, some people were arguing that they should not be, some, some of them should not be killed, you know, and some people, uh, the environmentalists were also saying that, no, we should leave them, because it's part of nature. But yeah, that is it. Uh, you can see for yourself. I told you uh, you will be joining me at some of my trips uh, official trips obviously and this time as I said earlier I think that uh, I'm in the Rongo region uh, some hours ago we were in Cape Cross so and uh, now what is happening is don't give it to him eh? oh, please just go in peace no, don't worry that's my colleagues um, so what is happening now we are done with what we're doing in Swakopun, most especially us that uh, do this uh, talking job. Um, what will be happening now is that we will leave our colleagues here, we'll be working here, and uh, head over back to Vinduk. We'll see what they're going to be doing in Vinduk again. Uh, most interesting part is that uh, um, 
I will definitely make it, uh, 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 you know, a must that uh, I take you along some of these trips uh, so that you'll be able to see what is happening. So with that being said, uh, we meet again on the other side. Cheers, I'm out. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
this all are the part of petrified wood. It was wood, but it tends a little coarse by the minerals. But I will do the whole explanation on the big one when we spoke there. This is just a small pieces of that. Biggest tree trunk, what we're having in this area, it's 10 meter long and the diameter of them it's 1.2 meter but it's continue both sides they're visible but it's still underground both sides not allowed to excavate them not to dig them up we live for the nature and the nature erosion will do it and the name of the trees was a pine tree the pine and the conifer are the same family but these trees was not growing here it was washed down by the flood from central part of Africa. It means 280 million years ago, end of Gondwana Ice Age. Area was covered by a ice layer. Very large river was forming with the water from the melting ice. And they was brought by that flood up to here. And when they come, they was covered immediately by sand and mud, 1,000 meters. And under pressure, they didn't get any oxygen. And the minerals, the different type of minerals, penetrate into the tree and replace the salt into the stone. The minerals are from the iron oxide, manganese, and the silicate. That's why they got different colors like that. But after... 125 million years ago when the erosion take place then they comes up to the ground level then they are exposed but the trees coming here without any roots any branches they lose them on the way but the knocks are remain where the branches there was a branch here there and there and you can still see the bark of the tree and the rings as well but the rings i will show you on other piece very nice and clean one and they are crossed like that caused by the different temperatures that's why they cross like that i expand and like that and these trees was discovered in 1940 by the bushmans the bushmans was discovered it's so heavy very very heavy you can feel if it okay that's a nice big one it's on the large area they are lying on the large area on the way you will see also some of them but this is the biggest one. We're having also the longest one as well. More than 35 meters. Okay, this is the plant called Velvichia meratelis. Velvichia was discovered by the man from Austria. His name was Dr. Frederick Velvich. That's why the name after the guy. And Mirapelle means wonderful. And it's uh, one of the oldest plant in the world. They grow only in Angola, southern part of Angola up to Namibia, in Namib deserts they grow mostly. And when they uh, start to grow, they got only two leaves. From here to here will be one. And from there to there will be one. But the wind, of course, to split them like that. And this is the female, over there it's a male. The difference between them, it's a seed. A male for the pollen grain, and the female for the corn grain. And that is the Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, quite exciting. I had fun. Um, I have been to some of those places before, but uh, you know, being to a place um, and you find different things and, um, and different people, it's always exciting. So, uh, this was just to say welcome to 2022. Uh, we have come a long way since 2021, where we had a lot of. Uh, conversations around different issues, most especially my Shwamba speaking people, uh, 
this year, as I said earlier, we will take along everybody. Where the content is in uh, Shwambo in a particular vernacular language, if possible and if time allows, we will definitely add on some subtitles so you can be able to be you know, informed what the clip or the video is about. Um, last thing is that uh, it's, it's early, day, early, early in the year, and most of us usually make commitments to what we want to do in the year. And believe me, this is now your time to commit yourself to something, and by the end of the day, you will be happy and proud of yourself. If it's studies, make sure you do that. If it's your driving license, make sure you do that. Anything, if it's a relationship or love affairs, commit yourself to that. If there's anything that you think we should discuss, uh, please feel free to drop it in the comment section so that we can be able to pursue it and find speakers, suitable speakers, and also be able to discuss and engage and uh, where possible we solve the problem. And if there's no problem, then we inform each other on how best we can tackle some of the social issues. With that being said, colleagues, uh, we shall call it a day or a night wherever you find yourself, whatever time you're watching, and we meet again our next video.